Anne Haggerty. She captured the nation's hearts and I'm celebrity jungle last year. But is best known as the imposing governess who tries to stop contestants from winning on ITV's The Chase. But Anne Haggerty, or Frosty Knickers, as a game show host Bradley Walsh effectively calls her. The path to fame has been not been smooth. The six year old has lived with Asperger's system, uh, syndrome, form of autism, since she's a child, but only diagnosed of recognising her symptoms on a TV program age 44. Before a TV break, she struggled with debt. At rock bottom, she's so broke, she's using vouchers to buy basic food. But today, in an executive exclusive interview to mark ten years of chase, she reveals how becoming a chase on the hit show changed her life. Not only was able to pay off her mortgage and debts, she's also filled a secret at life and ambition of becoming famous. Anne says I was struggling, I was hungry. I was a freelance copy editor, but I was very little work. I had to go to Asa. It's a best supermarket. If you're poor, if they have a good basic range. Same for these rich, posh people. I would take vouchers to d- do sums in my head just to get some eggs and bread or a tin of cheap Irish stew. I'd be starving when I don't want two tins, but I couldn't afford it. Poor you are, the hungry you feel. I'd walk three miles from my house into Manchester City Centre. If I got a bus, I couldn't afford a pound forty bus fare. On the worst nights was when I was walked into Manchester to go to the Mastermind Club and appeared on the quiz in the late 80s society for us, anyone who's ever sat in the show's big black chair. I didn't have money to buy a drink and nobody offered. I spent the entire evening at the table at the back of the pub alone, the tears rolling down my eyes, thinking, will someone just buy me a fucking drink, please? It's dreadful. I don't know where I'll be without a chase. It changed my life. I love to have, having lots of money. I think it's brilliant. I've been poor. I've been rich. And rich is better. There are very few problems that money can't solve. It's fantastic knowing if you have one, you can buy your way out of it. And Asperger's means she's meticulous in everything she does, but cannot deal with more and one thing at a time. Gets frustrated, you just go as the rush. Needs to plan ahead in great detail. She says, My parents thought I was stubborn, but I asked to do things that was unbearable to me. I couldn't understand the concept of putting things away, doing chores. I would, I would be, get shouted at. I was at my best, being alone, reading my book. Life is not easy for her and little brother Jonathan, now 55, Brought up in London by Mum Shirley and Dad Kinnev. We had a lot of jobs. One day he would sell pot plants, and next he would rent a new moisturiser. And he says Dad needed his own space. He wouldn't even eat dinner with us. He couldn't stick to one woman at one job, but he encouraged me. Dad, Mum didn't. She had to focus on education as a child, so she went the other way. She couldn't be pleased when I did well. Yet Anna Anne had no option but to succeed and of course I was about eight when I realised I could remember things. The stairs at the primary school at paintings as well as it went from George V to George VI. I looked at it and realised they were left out the Duke of Windsor. The teachers set up an information desk with their psychopaters. Man by two children. I managed to kibosh it unintentionally on the first day. I asked them what migrant meant. They, they couldn't locate it. The teacher said it wasn't such a word. But I said, in the port tortoise speech from the merchant of Venice, it is in the port speech from the merchant of Venice. She went off, came back, and crowded a piece of paper in my hand saying, migrate meaning less severe, I realised I would have to teach myself. And what, as a journalist before, proofreading a Kamenik 
books and a rough guide titled travel titles. Her hobby was bit doing quizzes. In 1987, she went to Mastermind. Her special subject was songwriter Louise Hart. My laugh, she laughed and said, my fearful little secret is that all he wants is to be famous. I don't get nervous doing, being on TV. I didn't do terribly well on the show, but I joined the Mastermind Club. We met for every month. It was dull and full of old blokes. And something, someone suggested inviting some men some friends to boost numbers. And the group that could be livened up by Mensa must be pretty much dead. But one of them told her about the Grand Prix circuit, where people complete doing written quizzes. She says, it was my kind of thing. Just me, the questions. It kept me sane. It was a very tough time. I don't think I didn't have a lot of work. I was skint. I need to claim benefits. I couldn't get my head around the paperwork. I stopped paying the rent on my house, which is shared ownership. And finally, a leaseholder officer, a social worker, showed up. I wasn't coping. They helped Anne claim the benefits she was due. She still had huge debts. That changed in 2009, when she went to the UK meeting of the Grand Prix World Championships and met Mark Limbet, 53, better known as the beast on the chase. She says, I was greeted by the largest man I've ever seen in my life. I've seen him in my... He, we got chatting. He just filmed a new program called The Chase. I watched it and remember fascinating myself. How cool would it be to be a chaser? The next morning I was asked... I, w- I was asked because The Chase wanted a woman. Anne was an actual one. says, I felt like everything was led up to that moment. Been the hard work. I loved the stardom. I paid off the mortgage, bought a new car and jewellery too. But it was never been an engagement ring. And it says, it took years of psychotherapy. If not even considered dating. Lost weight, placed my glasses with contact lenses. I felt a little more confident. I find it really hard to hold down a relationship. Longest was, a, was, was with a man I met in the Mastermind Club. I fancied him for years we were together for four months. Even though he lived in Brighton, I still felt suffocated in Manchester. Sex was always bad in my head. I felt like I was somewhere else while it was happening. It made me realise I needed space, both mentally and physically, in life. I didn't make it work. I didn't. I don't think I ever will. I still get attracted to people, but... Having a relationship isn't fair to the other person. Sally has met, met and has never had the children she longed for, though she is an aunt to Jonathan Free and delighted that Mark asked her to be her grand godmother to his son. I love buying him presents. His Mark persuaded her to go on last year's of celebrity, she recalls. She just said they would be fun, and they look after me. And Mark reminded me that ITV is our bread and butter. It turned out to be great. We're all still in touch. We have a WhatsApp group. I don't, I wouldn't do it again. My child's freaked me out. A chase which features Anne, Mark, Sean Wallace, Paul Sinner, and Jenny Bryan as the chasers has named Britain's top quiz show a national television Quiz and there is no television awards. Anne and Sean were also on the Australian version. He says, We're close. Paul is my quizzing partner. Mark and I speak on the phone all the time. Jenny is the captain of my Monday night's quiz team in Bolton. But Anne is ready at the Monday quiz as she has rented a house in Watford to be near to work. She says, I'm worried that Jay's my end. I will, I'll get found out. I have saved supermarket points, but these days, there's Sainsbury's. There is no as to opposite, but it's years since I've been there. I can't find my way round. 